All right, so for our first lecture, um, we're going to talk a little bit conceptually first, and then hands-on. Uh, the first network that we'll cover is Facebook, but let's step back a moment to talk about the why of social media. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take some notes, and these notes that I'm going to write here, uh, I'm going to provide them to you at the end of the day. Go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. So these notes here that I'm going to write, I'm going to put them in the network folder, and I'll remind you where the network folder is a little bit later. But uh, you're free to also use our system here to write notes. You can write notes on plain old paper. We've got Microsoft Word, if you want to use Word and write notes in Word, you can do that. I'm going to write notes, and I'm going to put these notes in the folder a little later. Okay, so we'll start off here. Social media equals marketing. Now, what synonyms might you know for the word marketing? Sales. Sales, sure. Advertising. Advertising, sure. Do products, show us advertising products. Okay, so those are a few ideas, those are a few words that we might equate with marketing. So advertising is often the big one. Marketing is advertising. So I'm trying to advertise something. And we have basically two big branches. We have traditional marketing, and we have digital marketing. Now, I don't have spell check on this, so I might have a lot of misspellings. You can just ignore those. So traditional, traditional marketing. Some examples of this would be um, billboards. If marketing is advertising, a billboard is advertising, a billboard is marketing. What other examples of traditional, real world, let's say, marketing might you think there are? Radio. Radio, yes. Anything else? TV. TV, yes. Anything else? Newspapers. Newspaper, sure. There's that one other one. I think the official name is called The Guy on the Sidewalk Flipping <laughs> That Sign. I think that's their official title. So marketing in the real world, advertising, reaching an audience, traditional marketing, reaching an audience. I put a, a billboard on the five because I want to advertise my business. I put uh, flyers on people's windshields to tell them about my carpet cleaning business. I put a coupon in the newspaper to advertise my business to get people. So traditional marketing in the real world, all to reach an audience. Digital marketing, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Etc., etc., etc. What other social networks might you have heard of? Pinterest. Pinterest. Anything else? Snapchat? LinkedIn? YouTube? Etc., etc., and a bunch of ones you've never heard of. So, digital marketing is the new generation of traditional marketing. They're both trying to reach an audience. It's just that one is in the real world maybe tangible, you know, a um, billboard or flyers and such. 
But this is also marketing, a, a tweet that you sent out, a pin that you post, a Facebook message that you send, a YouTube video that you create, all of that is still marketing, trying to reach an audience. The purpose is reaching an audience. Traditional marketing is often a wide net, meaning I put that billboard on the freeway, thousands of people will see it. Does that mean I'm going to make thousands of sales? Probably not, because I'm a plumber, and I've put my billboard on the freeway, and only those that need a plumber at that moment will call my business if they saw my, my billboard. So a lot of people might see the newspaper ad, might hear the radio ad, might see the person on the sidewalk. It's a wide net. Unfortunately, I don't get a lot of one-to-one -one results. A thousand people may have seen that person flipping the, the sign, but that doesn't mean I'm going to sell a thousand things. It's often a very, very, very small number, often like 1%, maybe 5% of, of results. So social media could be also a wide net. But the great thing about social media is it's a smaller net. I'm trying to catch fish. I cast a wide net. I might catch a bunch, a lot get away. A smaller net and the right place will catch more fish, more potential customers. So we could say like this. A wide net is hard to reach the right audience. A smaller net is easier to reach the right audience. Not easy, easier. Nothing is always quite easy, but it's easier. If we're comparing both of these um, marketing channels or marketing branches we're gonna see a lot of similarities and a lot of differences of course here's another one so with traditional marketing often uh, is um, expense you know from not so expensive to very expensive So think about that billboard. I don't know how much it costs to put up a billboard. Let's just say uh, some number, $500. $500 to put a billboard for a month. Let's say, I don't know at all. Let's say $500 to put a billboard. OK, that seems like a lot. So instead, I'm going to pay $100 to put my ad on the newspaper for the weekend. There's various amounts of money that I can pay in the traditional marketing channels to try to reach an audience. Um, if I put my billboard or my, let's say, my radio ad, let's say I put my ad on, on uh, you know, uh, Jam and Z90, let's say I put my ad on one station, how do you think I could get more people to listen to my ad on the radio besides one station? Possibly, we'll get to that idea in a moment. If we put it in one station, we assume we're going to reach the audience that is interested in that kind of music. I can put it on more than one station. I put it on a classical music station, a pop music station, a uh, classical musical station. So the more stations I put it on, the more of an audience I could reach. So that's where the expense comes in. The more places I target, the more expensive it is. Social media expense can be zero and up. I'll put right here. Uh, expense could be low to expensive and up. Social media could be completely free. Um, you could use the various social networks completely free to reach your audience. And we're seeing that we can target the audience a little better in social media and very, very, very affordably. 
Over here, it might be harder to reach the right audience, and it might be expensive. So here we might say harder to reach the audience. The, um, this net, if, if a more narrow reach is better, if we want to narrow the reach, um, what was said earlier about the time, that would be a way to narrow the right audience. Uh, so um, we could say uh, what channel, what time, what day do we put our ad in these in these uh, uh, channels, newspaper. I'm going to use the word channel not just to mean TV or radio, but channel is all of this. Newspaper, flyers, the sign, all those are channels, just you know, generic word channel, whereas all of these are channels as well, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So just generic word channel. You could call it venue, uh, channel, branch, whatever. Just where am I putting my ads my marketing. So, what channel, what time, what day? I need to figure all of that out uh, to reach the right audience. I need to take this into account as well um, for both traditional and digital, but oftentimes in traditional, you don't know until you try. You don't know the right TV channel to put that ad. You don't know what street to put that ad. You don't know how to target yet, perhaps. In contrast with these social networks, you can get relevant data very quickly. Relevant info very quickly. Meaning you can find out your audience a lot faster. What's the right time for me to post? What's the right kind of text to write? All of those details. People always come in and ask, uh, what's the best day and time for me to post on Facebook? Because they might have heard about that there's the magic time. And the problem is that there's no magic answer for everyone you probably can find plenty of articles that will tell you. Make sure that every week, Monday, 9 o'clock, you post on Facebook. Those articles are all over the place, and they're all right and they're all wrong. Because 9 a.m. on a Monday is perfect for a certain demographic, and 9 a.m. on a Monday is terrible for another demographic. So there's really no averages, there's no commonalities, especially if your business is very different than what the author is saying. Yeah, the author is saying this day and time works great for the people that work 9 to 5. They take a lunch break at, uh, from 11.30 to 1.30, or 11.30 to 12.30, uh, and uh, that's the time you want to post because they're on their lunch break. Well, my demographic is kids. They're not at work, so they're not going to look at it at that time. They're going to look at it in the afternoon when they're at home at 3. So if you have that question that you're meaning to ask, what's the best time? The short answer is don't worry about it because I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you, but these networks can tell you as you use them. They will tell you your photo did really well at this time, and your followers, your customers were very active on this day and time, and the networks will tell you uh, through their data what's best for you. So even though that article says, don't forget to post every Friday at 5 o'clock when everyone's going home, well, that's not my audience. They're not at work on a Friday. So figuring out who to target and how to target in a traditional marketing is difficult. And on a digital, it is easier, not easy, easier, as we will get hands-on in this class to understand that. So the big idea here is that social media for a company is marketing. Uh, social media itself has two facets. Social media has two facets. The personal, frivolous, and the prof 
professional business. And again, like I said, I'm using the keywords business and product and all of that. But if I'm an artist and I simply want to show my paintings, I'm not trying to sell them. I just want people to see them. That's still the professional purpose. If I'm a band and I'm trying to get gigs, that's the professional purpose. If I'm a nonprofit organization that wants to get volunteers to help me uh, feed the children, uh, that's still professional. Anything that is not personal is the professional, just for a simple word. And the personal, of course, is connecting with friends and family, sending funny cat pictures to each other, keeping up to date with uh, family gossip and all of that. That's the personal, frivolous, but valuable and real thing. But we're going to cover the professional business aspect. They're both valid. People use these networks for this all the time, and that's perfectly valid. But in this class, we're not going to learn how to send a photo to our, our relatives. We're going to learn how to use social networks to reach an audience and customers and such. There's two facets which are both valid. Any questions so far? Let's take our first break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more conceptually, then we'll actually do some of this. Uh, it's 6.50. We'll take a break until 7. Uh, then we'll go on. If you came a little late, see me to enroll in the class. If you have any trouble, call me over. We'll be back at at, at uh, 7 o'clock.